What's up guys, Vince the Longineer here. I'm back at the Project Lawn. It's another great day, and we're going to be throwing down pretty hard, so stay tuned. Okay, so real quick, I just have a few quick announcements. First, really appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first time on the channel, uh, please click that subscribe button, comment, uh, like. I do respond to comments quickly and want to keep the conversation going. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Also, I've revamped the descriptions for all of my videos to be just a little bit better formatted and organized, but I also include a lot of links to the products that I'm using, the products that I'm specifically using in that video, as well as the products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in lawn care. I've also included the use of timestamps in all of my videos, and this is just in an effort to help uh, organize things a little bit better and help guide you along in each video. It's just another nice feature that you can use uh, all in an effort really to just help you and uh, make it more convenient for you to uh, watch and enjoy these videos. I've also become more active on Instagram. You can follow me over there at the underscore Longineer uh, where I try to post frequently over there on more real-time updates of the yard, the work that I'm doing, uh, tips and tricks, uh, lawn striping, um, and I just like, it's just another place to keep the conversation going, to ask questions, um, and, and just, you know, one thing I'm finding in this lawn care community is that just everyone is so nice and friendly and, and wanting to learn and wanting to spread knowledge. So um, that's part of what I want to do and, and, and help you with, uh, with your lawn care. And uh, so please ask questions. Um, you know, I want to help you. And I, and I also want to learn from others as well. Now back to the regularly scheduled programming. All right, so the plan for today is very similar to the overseeding video that I just posted. Uh, we're going to be throwing down some triple threat seed from Southern Seeds Inc. Uh, this is turf type tall fescue. We're doing an overseeding rate. The recommended rate for turf type tall fescue is between three to five pounds per thousand square feet. We're a little bit bare in some spots here, so we're going to go on the heavier end of five pounds per thousand square feet. This is a 50 pound bag, so that will cover our 10,000 square foot area here. And then we're gonna be following up with some Scott starter fertilizer. Now this starter fertilizer actually has mesotrione in it, which is the active ingredient in tenacity. So we actually did a tenacity application about a week ago, and um, I'll go into more details on this later, but then after that, we're gonna be putting down some ocean grow fertilizer. This is an equivalent here in Jersey uh, to Melorganite. Melorganite is out of stock around here right now. Uh, so this is my backup here. Same kind of stuff, same process um, to make it. And then we're going to be spreading tons of peat moss. We have 22 bags. Um, I'm going to be spreading it with my wheelbarrow, my landscaping rake and shovel. And uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good day. All right guys, so real quick plug in here. Um, this triple threat seed that I have here, I actually found on Instagram on the account Oli Pool. Go check him out. He's got awesome lawn stripes in his yard. He uses the same seed. Um, and after seeing that, I was like, I gotta try it on the project lawn. So uh, go check him out. Go check out his page at Oli Pool. O-L-E-E-P-O-O-L-E. -E all right, so the very first thing we're going to do is a trim pass. Just like I did in my previous video, we're going to be using a drop spreader for the trim pass. And that'll make sure that we don't throw grass seed into like the rock areas over here uh, or the mulch beds in the back. Um, and it keeps the seed off the driveway, out of the street, and then prevents it from going into the neighbor's yard. So um, I'm going to set the drop spreader. I'm going to start at uh, six. If you're looking at it this way, let's start at six. And if I need to go up, this is actually what I used for, this is actually what I use for perennial ryegrass. But if I need to go up, I can go up to seven probably. I'm gonna start at six. I'm gonna do a trim pass, see what's coming out. Perennial ryegrass seed is a lot smaller than uh, turf type tall fescue. This is what, uh, this is what the turf type tall fescue seed looks like. So I'll likely have to increase that setting 
to like seven or eight. But um, I just want to be careful with what I'm putting down. I don't want to put down too much um, and then not have enough seed to go around later. So we'll start small and then increase if we need to. So we just threw down the seed and now it's time to start with the fertilizer applications. We're going to start with the starter fertilizer and we have here Scott's starter fertilizer with weed preventer. So like I said earlier, this actually contains the active ingredient mesotrione, which is uh, basically tenacity. Um, but before I picked up this product, um, I read through the restrictions because we just recently put down an application of tenacity. So I wanted to know. Uh, what the restrictions are and if we are breaking any of those restrictions. So I read through and You know, there's some typical stuff like Don't apply this product in a way that will contact any person Do not enter do not use this product that product on flowers But then you get down to some of the items that may conflict with what we already did so one being do not apply another pesticide within seven days of an application of this product as turf injury may occur. So we did apply the tenacity, it was over seven days ago, so we're good on that. Um, it also says down here not to apply um, more than 0.45 pounds per treatment site per year. So this product applies 0.15 pounds of mesotrione per acre per application. And this, this is a 21, just a, almost about a 21, 22 pound bag. It covers 5,000 square feet. Um, I did the math, I am at about 0.35 pounds of mesotrione total, including the 0.15 pounds that this puts down. And basically what I did was I calculated, um, you know, we have 40% of mesotrione in tenacity, that's that's the, the percentage of the active ingredient in that concentrated formula. Um, and we put down basically, um, a half teaspoon right per gallon of water per thousand square feet so when you calculate that all out and and we have 10,000 square feet here so that's five teaspoons 40 percent of that is two so about two teaspoons and when you calculate the math convert it into pounds per acre I got about uh, 0.2 pounds of the mesotrione trion per acre so adding the 0.15 pounds I'm at about 0.35 total we don't exceed the 0.45 um, so we're good there um, and we'll go ahead and throw this down and see uh, see how this works it's supposed to prevent the weeds uh, from growing for up to six weeks and allows for the new seeds to germinate so that'll really help us out. We're about six weeks away from Halloween. The goal here is to turn this yard completely around, 
by Halloween. I think our timing's perfect. So let's go and throw down the fertilizer. Alright, so we just finished putting down the Scotch starter fertilizer. The next step is going to be throwing down the organic fertilizer. This is the slow release Ocean Grow, uh, a Melorganite equivalent. Um, this has 2.5% of iron. It's a 45 pound bag. It covers 3,000 square feet and the analysis on this is a 550. Unfortunately, this is only available in uh, New Jersey at local nurseries, but other um, wastewater treatment plants or municipal utility authorities um, in, in other areas around the country do similar things like this to save on um, their wastewater treatment process and recoup some cost by selling their biosolids as fertilizer to the public. So we got all the slow release fertilizer down and now it's time to put down the peat moss. Now we have 10,000 square feet and 22 bags of peat moss. So what we've done is that we've spread the bags out over the lawn here because those are going to be the areas that it will break open the bags and will spread out in that area. Uh, hopefully that makes things a little bit more efficient and you can see over there too we've got the same same thing, and in the backyard too, we have, within the fence, we have four bags back there that we're gonna spread. To help us spread this out, we're gonna be using my wheelbarrow here. This holds about half a bag at a time. Uh, so we'll dump half a bag in, loosen it up, use the shovel to uh, spread it out, um, try to get an even coating with the shovel, and then wherever there are clumps or things that need to be spread out a little bit more, we'll use the landscaping rake here, the back side of the landscaping rake, to really just spread everything out evenly. And we'll just try to go one bag at a time. If we need to move these bags around um, to get the even coverage, we will. 
but we're hoping that this just makes it a little bit easier for us so we're not carrying bags from one point to another. guys so we've done it we've thrown down 22 bags of peat moss on top of 50 pounds of seed triple threat seed and uh, 40 pounds of starter fertilizer and about 180 pounds of the slow release fertilizer ocean grow which is the malorganite equivalent um, a lot of work um, but if you put in the effort you'll get the results. Uh, all that's left to do here is water. Um, I know it's going to be a challenge here. This neighborhood gets their water from wells and um, the well here is almost like 40 years old. So uh, I know it's going to be tough. Um, we're really hoping that mother nature will help us out with some rain, um, but we'll, we will get a sprinkler set up here. We'll move it around try to keep it moist. The point is not to water to the point of runoff, but to just keep it moist. And the peat moss will help us see visually whether or not we need to water. Um, 
you know, there's a, there's a stark contrast between dry peat moss and wet peat moss. Um, so that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining.